hello welcome back to my channel I am doing another video to clarify the last video I put up about Jack D well Kaylee came through and she started talking and I think she was choosing the cards that were coming out to be perfectly honest I I can almost feel her over top of the cards and and then the way that the reading was going after the fact and after a couple comments it dawned on me I says wait a second there was a little bit of both of them and a, a little just a little bit of Jack D in there but a lot of Jack S Jack Showwater Walter I'm thinking that last reading had a lot to do with Jack Showalter more so than Jack D and the other thing that drew my attention was in that video the third card out what a third tarot card out was that two of pentacles and in the haunted house tarot it depicts two twins and I mentioned two twins two people working together and then it dawned on me two people named Jack there's actually three people that I know of around the girls named Jack or no two maybe two named Jack or maybe there's three three Jacks and there's a Jake okay it's I mean it's super super confusing and I was thinking about that reading and I'm seeing a few of the comments and I'm glad that you you guys have brought this to my attention and I thought you know what I got to shift gears here who knows maybe Kaylee will come back through I don't know but I'm concentrating this reading specifically on Jack S. Jack S is the one who left the country immediately after the murders. Okay, there's a lot of questions about that as well. Um, and as I'm shuffling, uh, like for instance, um, well, let, let's just start from the beginning. You know, they were out. He was out with the girls. Um, they were at the food truck. Oh, and Jack, D, Jack S. is known as the hoodie guy. Okay. Um, they're at the food truck. And um, Kaylee asks Maddie, so what did you tell Adam? Adam is a bartender, and I think Adam was a roommate with one of the Jacks. Um, and uh, either Jack S or Jack D. And anyhow, <clears throat> Maddie replied, Oh, I told him everything. Then Hoodie Guy chimes in and says, Oh, Maddie, you know they're going to get you for that. You know they're going to get you. And then on top of that, it's like Jack was almost invisible to them. Okay. They didn't even say goodnight to him, the him, okay, when they were going home. They did not say, thank you for walking us home. They didn't say anything. It's like, Jack waving, hey! And then looking straight through him, straight past him, like he didn't even exist. So there's something, something up there. And his parents, they're the ones that are, ha that are the doctors, that are in, like the Cayman doctors. And after the murders happened, Jack left school and left the country. If you're enrolled in college, why do you leave? And if you're planning a trip, why would you plan it at that particular time? You know, when you're still in school, the semester's not over yet. That's very curious. Is he planning on coming back to the United States and resuming his studies? I'm, I, I have no idea. Not at this point. Very fishy. So he had some abandonment and rejection issues right there. I think I've talked about in um, one of my earlier videos about somebody being jealous. Um, somebody uh it's like jealous of a relationship um 
some kind of lovers thing going on and the lovers keep showing up a lot quite a lot in the readings they didn't show up in the last one i don't think i don't think but it's very peculiar you know very it causes me to raise an eyebrow at it so what do you think you know, it, a lot of suspicious things there. I don't trust it, and but we are going to dig in. And sometimes my intuition kicks in when I'm with the reading the cards, and it surprises me. I might have a pre uh, a pre idea ahead of time of what I think the storyline's going to be, and there's a plot twist, and it surprises me. Okay, let's get into this. I'm starting with this um, crime deck. It is 11-11 Tarot. Um, it is her that uh, produced this deck. Okay. And it's a downloadable version, as I mentioned in the last video. And I took a couple hours till 2 a.m. one night, um, writing down all the specific numbers and writing them on uh, writing all the keywords and stuff on the cards and since i have several of these marking it with an x as in you know caution tape you know um this is the crime deck okay uh, and yes yeah, so I, I was bullshitting because i was shuffling waiting for the cards to be ready okay uh, let's go ahead and get into this Business, money, a five. Work. Broken home life. Chaos, drugs, abuse. That is kind of echoing that last reading when I thought, you know, the parents look at him as a disappointment. And that there was some kind of abuse. Caregiver, teacher, babysitter. Um, I wonder if he was... Le this is, I think, kind of talking about his childhood. Leading up to where he was. The day of the murders. Because I'm picking up... Business. Work money kind of like that's what his parents were all about he felt like he had a broken home life maybe there was some sort of abuse that involved a caregiver like a daycare or, or a babysitter or somebody that took a nanny perhaps that took care of him that there was some sort of abuse there okay and that which kind of led to his maybe his drug use okay but there's something here. Uh, I think this is his. Uh, the first few cards are about his home life. Growing up. Bridge. Transfer connection. Yes, that's bridging the gap. Between yet his past. And his, and what led up to. The time of the killings. There is. Okay, the saying. There is a connection. Okay. And it and there is a connection with that uh, with the girls, his, his attitude, him feeling like an outcast and being sh and being ignored. There's a connection there with something that happened in the past. While his parents were working, he was in the care of somebody. Okay, now he was hoping to leave that behind him. But it's a nine, it's a completion, but not the finale. Okay, so this is kind of leading me to, he got to a bridge that he had to cross. Now, once he crossed that bridge, he can never go back. And it's like the final stage. There, there seems to be something really shaky in his foundations from the beginning. One is beginning for foundations. 
So there was something very shaky, very broken about his, his core, his foundations, because of money, work, parents working. It's like he did not get the love and attention from his parents. So, yes, that played a major, major, major role. Okay. Just want to get a couple of these. Mockingbird. Yes, he was made fun. Of. Now, Mockingbird is typically somebody that repeats things, right? Or kind of control. Yeah, he was under control. But the Mockingbird is also, I'm just hearing the word mock. He's been mocked a lot in his life. Water supply in the reverse. Now, this is not talking about the, a literal water supply. When you think of water, you think of emotions, and you think of love and nurturing and expression of emotions. It is in the reverse position. So, Jack S. was like emotionally disconnected. Not connected to the water source. Not connected to his emotions. At the time when everything happened. Give me one more. One more, please. Bloodline. Bloodline is the family. Blood family. It can also be, okay, it could be the community. Blood line. It's almost like I'm hearing thirsting for blood. Thirsting for blood. Okay, let's get into the tarot. I just saw the Six of Cups on the split, and it's underneath the deck right now. You know, that's childhood, I'm telling you. His problems are coming out for, that are stemming from childhood. You know, he could all, that the caregiver could also be him always in the hands of somebody else for somebody else to raise him because his parents were too busy. There's some sense of emotional disconnect, some sense of feeling abandoned, feeling alone, feeling rejected. Okay. Too many cards. I'm not taking all that. Cut the deck. The situation. Ace of Coins. This showed up in the last reading as well. I, or one of the readings. Ace of Coins. Five of Wands. Money problems. Yep. Oh, and there was a fight. There was a, there was a brawl. Something that he viewed as an opportunity ended up being disappointment. Disappointed. Nine of Cups. He was attracted to one of the girls. He's definitely attracted to one of the girls. They were his wish. He thought that there was something that could be built, that could be grown from that situation. But he was met with a lot of competition. Com competition. And he felt his wish fulfillment was blocked. Influences. 
party life. Okay, that's the party life. That is the page of wands. New adventure, having fun. For some, okay, I'm also seeing a horse in the background. Now this is supposed to be, this is just the page, but it has a horse in it. You know, some kind of new adventure going, some influence that's, that's leaving as well. But there's news, information that made him leave. Or there's something there that made him leave. Um, but there's the party life, uh, and that's very strong here. Beneath is the Queen of Swords. That's at the root. It's almost being snubbed. Behind. Emperor showed up in the last reading. Ahead. The sun. Where Cayman Islands is really sunny. Is that where he went? Sun plays warmer. The moon. Yep. Opposite forces. Two of swords. Holy shit. Three of cups. That showed up in the previous reading. I'm trying to remember if the moon card did or not. Two of wands. A lot of moon type energy. A lot of, you know, um, I'm going to say listen to this. Okay. The Ouija board is definitely very loud to me right now in this spread. And that's because... You know, I'm feeling spirits around me already. I'm feeling them. You know, the drowning in the blood. Kaylee. Drowning in her own blood. She did tell us that in the last reading. She's not really talking. Okay. Hot damn. Okay. We've got temperance here. There's girls there partying. This is under the deck. Four of swords. This is coming up again. Okay. The four of wands. Holy shit. The king of wands. Look at that. He's carrying a body. Holding a body. Wow. That's loud. This is freaking loud. And this is connected to Jack S. Okay. Let's just make it clear. And I set the intention. Jack D. Or the other Jack. Or Jake. Not in this reading. This is all about Jack S. His history. And where. And what happened. His involvement, if any. Yeah, he's got... See, he was involved. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Jack D was... There were two killers. I still say that there were two killers. Um, another reader, it might have been 1111 Tarot, mentioned two knives. Like a knife in each hand. I think she's really close to being on it. I just keep feeling two different people, two different knives that were used in the killings. Um, but we already kind of see where there's a sense of rejection, his wish not being fulfilled because of competition. And how did he get here to begin with is from being given the cold shoulder. Queen of Swords. So he was given the cold shoulder here. And he decided to take matters in his own hands. The law in his own hands. Somebody had to suffer for rejecting him. 
But moreover, there and he's he's coming up as the emperor. Now he has a very powerful family, and there's power right there, leading into this. He may have been the one that I. I wonder if he was. A, he played a big part in the organizing and the planning. He's very content and happy in his accomplishment. The son. Um, job well done. I am not a suspect. It's time for me to go on a new adventure. The Page of Wands. And there is some kind of deception here. And there is still fear. His energy is definitely coming up as fearful, deceptive, secretive. I think he's afraid. He left the country because he was afraid of getting caught, getting found out. Uh, right now, <clears throat> in the environment, it's a two of swords. Everybody's blindfolded. Nobody's seeing the obvious. Nobody sees him. And, you know... In a twisted way, part of this reasoning was to get attention, but when push comes the shove, he ran. Three cups in the hopes and fears. Is more like he wants to be known and recognized. He wants friends. He longs for those friends, but he feels alone. He's looking for some kind of acceptance. And, is, and being submerged in his emotions that which he tries to block by the way especially with the water source the water supply up here being in the reverse he blocks those emotions but you know he's he's swimming in them he's keeping them below the surface of those cups of everybody else he's keeping them below His whole thing was about acceptance. I want somebody to love me. I want to be accepted. I want I want to be noticed. I want to be noticed. Two of Wands. This is what's coming up. The moon. The moon in this card in the Two of Wands is what's loud to me. You know, if you're new here, sometimes the meaning of the tarot card, like the Two of Wands, what I get out of it has nothing to do with the traditional meanings. I read totally intuitive and off the pictures and the vibes that I'm getting. And what I'm seeing, especially with the candles there, and the Ouija board is revelation. Something being revealed that is buried deep within the in the urethral world. The, the Ouija board is also talking about spirit connection. What I experienced here today with Kaylee. Um, and <clears throat> their story getting out. But I'm almost seeing like a clear view at that mirror. At that, mu at, at that mirror. A clear view at the moon. Mirror is something important too. Like, what does Jack see when he looks in the mirror? I'm curious. But the, there is illumination. And the moon is shining the light on a particular spot in the water. 
Um, this is telling me also that he had everything planned. Everything was planned out to a T. Now, understands where the fear comes from. That all his secrets that he's been hiding are going to come out. The secrets are going to come out. It's going to come out. Now, if you watched the last reading, this is not a spoiler alert. It seemed like both Jacks, Jack S and Jack D, were up to their eyeballs in blood. We'll just put it that way. In fact, that's what this is kind of uh, watery, liquid, yeah. A, a bath, unfortunately, um, we all know that it was a blood bath. When police went in there, it made them nauseous. The smell of blood was so bad. Okay, so the blood bath. You know, he was in the middle of that bloodbath. And in the past reading, it showed guilty him and Jack D. But I didn't, it didn't look like Jack D orchestrated everything. So I am curious if there'll be other things that come out. In the last video, by the way, <clears throat> in this particular crime deck, there's a, a DNA card. It came out and it had, I want to see, I don't know if it's handy or not. It showed two figures of DNA. Now there were three unknown DNAs in, that were not Coburgers, uh, a male DNA that was around, right? Um, this all, here it is. This came out in the last reading. These are two masculines that were involved in the murder. Okay. And I th was saying the two Ds. And these look almost identical. You know, or two Js. Two Jacks. And it came out that the DNA that is not being turned over to uh, yet is belongs to Jack. But this card was definitely showing two. Both guys' name is Jack. Okay. Details leading up to the murder may be worth investigating. Yes. The details. Our hoodie, hoodie guy who we're talking about today. Food truck, etc. Killer just passing through the area. He left effing town. He left the, he left the country. That came out before. Additional evidence is at the crime scene. And what do they want to do? They want to tear that house down. They can't. There's still evidence there at the crime scene. In the last reading, it said something about the basement. Some kind of evidence in the basement. The murder weapon used will provide details as well. We're not talking about the gun sheath. We're talking about the actual murder weapon. Who has the actual murder weapon? Where'd the murder weapon go? It's like I keep feeling something touching me. That's why I went like this, because I felt something like brush me or something. It was tickling. I said, I keep feeling touches constantly. 
So there's definitely spirits here around me. What else can you, what other additional information can you provide us, spirit? Traffic. This came out in the last reading also. What about the traffic? Hidden box locks a secret traffic. Okay. Something that was locked away. There's some kind of secret about trafficking. Sold. Selling. Something about selling. Hor the horse card come up. Off-road. Travel. More travel. Scenic hike trail. Something about a trail. Walking. Thank you. Getting a lot of nature scenic. Walking. Walking. What else? Self-destruct, self-hate. So he had a really poor, he's, he's not suicidal, but a very poor, low self-esteem. And yeah, he was looking to self-destruct. <clears throat> travel, movement, journey. Got three cars referring to travel, movement, a journey, and adventure. Child. That inner child of his. I said it's the sense, something sent from his childhood. It's just kind of, the cards are kind of on repeat now. Grave. Holy shit. <clears throat> it says murderer, the killer, guilty. Now this, everybody, they were all laid to rest. The job was completed. Okay, the last reading talked about drug trafficking. That's kind of what I was looking for, but the drugs were not coming up again. But the traffic, trafficking, it involves exchange of some sort, sold, traded, and there are the rumors about drugs going in that house. Even the night that the murders occurred, A hidden box. Sealed packages. That that could be what they're talking about as far as um, the drugs are concerned. Um, we have two, two, two here, which are about choices and decisions. So there was the choice. He had a choice. He could have canceled and for, and dropped this whole idea altogether. But he made the choice to murder. One 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 is here as well. And yeah, there's my cat clawing at me like she did in the last video. So there's spirits around here. I know it. I feel them. She fills them. Um, one, 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 a divine number. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Okay, my guides just told me, or I was just told. 
Okay, the girls are all partying. Okay. Then when they get home, and she's in her sleep, the girls are sleeping. Two men, look, there's two men in this card. Carry out the deed. And there's the dead body. And this is all connected to Jack S. And, there, and I see some similarities in the two readings. Jack D. may have been a little bit more involved in the actual drug trafficking. But Jack S. knew about it. Jack S. was... One of them was roommates with um, Adam. There is more than one person here. Upward is f at least four, maybe, involved in the planning. Four people. Okay, there were four that died. Four people hidden that were involved. Four young people involved in the plotting and the planning of these murders. Four. We know there were two Jacks. Who were the other two? There's at least four that was in the plotting. Two of which, because we got four and we got two. Four people, we got four people died. We've got over drugs, over the trafficking. That there were four people involved in the planning and the decision making. And there was two people that carried it out. Okay. K A T. Cat. K A T. Was there a Kathy or a Catherine or something like that involved? If you know, comment below. He has a poet and didn't know it. I'm getting K A T. I still want to dig a little bit more. Because some of this feels very vague. Which I'm not surprised with that moon energy right here. I'm really not surprised. That it's, things are vague. Because things are very, very, very much hidden and secret. Secrets locked up. I think maybe even in the spiritual realm. Some secrets locked up. But I don't have any doubt that these two individuals named Jack were involved. Okay, we got God. Seems like God keeps popping up. Royalty. Love. Yeah, this this was this is screaming a crime of passion. Okay. At least one of the murders were Um, royalty is important family leaders. It's like Jack S. came from royalty in a way. His family. God born into royalty. Where his parents thought they were God. Or something like that. I don't know what the God is. I might have to pull that aside and pull cards on it. Holy shit. Secret trip. So he played God. And he thinks his shit don't stink. In other words, you know, I'm not getting caught. I'm getting out of Dodge. There's love here, yes. And I need a drink, sorry. Ah, throat's getting dry. Ah. 
Okay, I want to know point blank. What is this um, moon energy? Show me this moon energy. Lovers. Secret lovers. Or so he thought. There's the attraction right there. And I tell you, so many times this lover's, lover's card comes up. And I'm not the only reader out there getting the lover's card in this case. Seven of Swords. Cheating lover. Queen of Wands. Holy shit. In his mind, him and one of the girls were lovers. And if they were with somebody else or dating somebody else, he says, she's cheating on me. And the moon is talking about delusional. Kaylee mentioned del somebody's being delusional in the last reading. Delusional. Somebody is so freaking delusional that they think that they are in a relationship with one of the girls and that girl is interested in somebody else, ignoring him, and he's looking at it as cheating. She's cheating on me. And I'm almost feeling like punishment. And it's two of swords here in the environment. I got it. Just like the other two knives. Two effing knives. Two people. Two people. Let's get some more on that two of swords. Six of wands. Job well done. Success. They successfully completed their job at Five of Swords. And, the, and she's holding a knife. Successfully, comp a mission accomplished. Underhanded it in this planned. Cheating, winning by unfair means. But I'm also seeing this as being a hollow victory. Mission accomplished, but it's going to be a hollow victory. Anything else? Ten of Cups. Okay, wish fulfillment. You know, they both parties are, especially Jack S. is very happy. With the results. How everything's played out. The devil. Guilt, guilty. Deception. Toxic. He did the dirty deed. King of Pentacles. The man with money. The King of Pentacles was in the last reading. There is, so was the King of Swords. I apologize. I keep getting interrupted. How rude. Anyhow. Let's see. Where did I leave off? I mentioned cat. And. I think we got a lot of clarifying done over here. Everything being completed. And Jack being extremely happy over the results. Okay, yeah, this is kind of where I was leading to. Money bags. Did the dirty deed. 
And and with the King of Swords there, he was the mastermind. Okay? The mastermind who came up with this plan. I was looking for the... Uh, yes, I was looking for the drug cartel type of connection. Drug trafficking. Traffic is in here. About selling something. Or trading something. Trading. I don't know what that is about. Okay, maybe that's what I need to look at. And it says guilty up here. Evil. We got the devil card in this spread as well. So the cards are saying that he is guilty. Well, um, let's take a look and see what the traffic is about. Let's see if I could get any other juice on that. Any other info? What else can you tell me? What can you tell me about this traffic? Now this is trafficking. This is the exchange. Selling something. What were they trafficking? Can you give me any more specifics? Show me trafficking. Knight of Cups in the reverse. That is out of control. That is high. That is intoxication. Um, regrets. Okay. Hermit. Hide, hiding it. Hidden with some solo. There, yeah, there were substances being tra um, traffic trafficked through there. Um, speak to me about the trafficking. <laughs> this flew out of the deck, which says happy. So the trafficking made people happy. What do drugs do? Usually makes people happy or alcohol. Tell me more about this trafficking, please. Tell me about this trafficking. struggle okay somebody was struggling with the idea of the buying and selling of the drugs okay okay <coughs> now we're getting somewhere else too there probably were arguments over this I don't want to do this type of energy I want out I want out Maddie wanted out. Okay, what else? <coughs> um, anything else? <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> Thief. One of the stories had to do with money or something being stolen out of the house. And Maddie or Dylan, somebody, I think it was Maddie flushing something down the toilet or getting rid of something. Something was stolen. And I think there was money that was stolen. Drug money. Okay. And there was a fight over that too. There was a fight over the drug money. There it is. Drugs. There it is. Either drugs were stolen or drug money. I think it was drug money. If I stand corrected. Drug money. Corruption in the local agencies. Um, there's corruption here. Okay. No female. Something about a female with no.
so the weapon in the neighborhood no neighborhood evil the woman that's alive okay Okay, one of the surviving females. Okay. And I'm seeing no as in the actual K-N-O-W, not just no. The survive, one of the surviving females knows about Another weapon, this bio weapon keeps coming up. And I just see this as a weapon in the neighborhood. Evil. The evil could be the death. You know, they know. The surviving females know. They know. They know what's up. They know that about the evil that they are dealing with. What about this evil? Communication and the devil. Are you kidding me? Ritual. Was there a secret society? Was there a secret society? Timeline issue in the reverse. Yeah, you know, that's talking about, yes, there was a timeline issue. Landfill portal. Kidnapped. Okay, there's a timeline issue. There is a portal. There is another destination. Somebody, this is not done. Somebody, they're a crime of passion that is going to be made to look like a suicide. The timeline, okay, timeline issue, somebody trying to resolve or rectify a timeline. That's what's in the reverse. But I'm also seeing time is, time is, is up. There's, there's going to be somebody else. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen on the outside of the house. Okay, outside of this case, there's going to be somebody else. Landfill outside. Garbage. You know, kidnap. Somebody else. Okay, we got cult. Somebody being trapped in a cult. And we got serial killer and homicide. And revenge. Okay. This is something upcoming. Mark my words. There's going to be another murder. Out of revenge. And somebody who's killed before. Who has. Who is an existing killer. Who has killed before. And it's going to be outside. Because whoever it is that they're going to kill, they see as them as being expendable. Okay. Then we got all this shit about cult, ritual, um, devil, evil. And there's some kind of communication associated with that. It's almost like somebody communicating with evil. An evil spirit. Or they're going to claim. Oh the devil made me do it. The devil made me do it. But there's some kind of ritual. Somebody's involved in cult like activity. And that kidnapped. Somebody's going to disappear. Maybe find body parts in a landfill. There's communication here. Somebody upset about. The sloppiness of the timeline. They're saying you better resolve that timeline issue. Better get your story straight. And there's a timeline, and it has some of it has to do with 
drug money disappearing too. I know my table looks like a mess. You would laugh right now. I'll have fun separating all these cards later. What else? You're not going to believe this shit. The last reading. I said somebody's parents need to be careful. Plane crash. Plane accident. I'm predicting it. Of course... Any kind of aviation, any kind of law enforcement, anybody will think I'm nuts and will ignore this. Somebody's going to get kidnapped. They're going to make it appear to be an accident or a suicide. And somebody's family's in danger as well. This is a lot of information surrounding Jack S. A lot. And there's definitely corruption here. This is government corruption. And I didn't pull it before. I saw Democrat. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I briefly saw it, but I did not pull the card. treason. Somebody feels betrayed. There's corruption. There's treason. Betrayal. That's a betrayal. I just heard state's evidence. Is somebody going to turn state's evidence? We've got celebrity, somebody well known involved. Beach, beach party. Somebody meeting at a beach party. Jack is away. Cayman Islands, beach, beach party. Jack better watch his ass too. He may have done the deed, but there's something here about, I heard, state's evidence. I don't know what that is. Um, lesser sentence maybe for being a whistleblower, for their involvement and turning on others because there's betrayal here and there's corruption. Somebody's turning state's evidence is going to pay an ultimate price. I think uh, I'm, I'm going down a huge rabbit hole here. A huge one. I don't know if I want to go any further with this. But this is Jack S. We'll see what comes out later on. I'm tempted to do Jack D again. Jack D version 2. And retitle that other video as The Two Jacks or something. Okay, I'm stopping here right now. A lot has come out. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Love and light.